Hey everybody! Hey, for today's devotion, we're talking about doors. Doors are pretty important. Doors allow in the people we want, right? The things we want. We want our dog in, we want our cat in, we want people we love in, uh, friends, relatives. You know, we want the right people in. But it also keeps things out that we don't want. It keeps the cold out, it keeps bugs out, it keeps bats out, it keeps squirrels out, it keeps robbers out, right? If we're locking our front door, doors are pretty important. Sometimes doors can surprise us. Like if you're walking late at night and it's pitch black and you have to go to the bathroom and for some strange reason, your spouse decided to close the bathroom door and all of a sudden you smash into that door and it's never closed. Or that poor little kitty, right? Your little son is running after the kitty and the kitty finds out that the screen door is closed. Not a good thing. Or that poor little finch, that little bird flying around outside and all of a sudden it's, it's being chased by a hawk and it smashes into your sliding glass window. Why? It has no idea, right? It sure looked a lot like your backyard, but all of a sudden it's face to face with your glass door, or I should maybe say beak to window to your glass door. Believe it or not, Jesus says he is a door. In John 10, 7 through 10, Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly I say to you, I am the door for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Like a door, Jesus is a protector. Like a door, Jesus keeps out the bad and allows in the good. Like a door, Jesus shows us the way in and shows us the way out. There's many today who want not just a narrow door to heaven or to God, but they want a wide open six lane LA highway. They want a big, huge, wide highway that every path leads to God. But that's not what God's word says. God's word says he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that his way is narrow. And that is through Jesus. Our passage from today says Satan comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. Not everybody loves the surprise of Jesus being the narrow way, being the only way to God the Father. But that is the truth. That is what Jesus said. That is what God's word said. So a good question for people is, who is Jesus to you? And if they describe Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life, the, the Redeemer, the Savior of all who have sinned and put their faith in Him, then they have a good understanding of who Jesus is. But if they describe Jesus as a great teacher, as one who uh, we need to follow and emulate His love, His passion, His care for others, and they don't talk at all about him being God. They don't talk at all about him being redeemer or savior. Then they don't really have a full understanding of who Jesus is. Jesus is a door, the true door. The true door into heaven, into eternal life. And we give thanks to him for that clarity, for that narrow path that all we have to do is trust in him put our faith in him and he gives us that gift of eternal life let's pray to the lord thank you god for your love for your compassion for your clarity thank you for sending jesus to be the door the gate 
that all may come through, through faith, that we may receive eternal life, that we may receive forgiveness. And Lord, no, your, your path is not wide. It's narrow, but it's clear and it's simple and it's not based on our works. It's based on your grace. And for that, we are thankful. So we worship you, we honor you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.